Hey guys, uh, for those of you that uh, watched the videos that I did when we were at Gadget Show, you may remember this next bit. Uh, it's probably, no I'm not going to say probably, this is the best motion simulator driving seat I've ever seen in my life. Now, I'll admit I've not seen that many of them, but the build quality and everything that goes into this is unreal. Now I'm going to hand over now to somebody that knows it inside out and back to front. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with the video because I'm running out of time rapidly. Two, three, four. Yeah, hi, my name's Ben. I cover this trip at widescreen.co.uk. Uh, we're the European Asia for this product. This product is called the VRX iMotion. It features a commercial grade D Box actuated system capable of 2Gs. It's currently set to about 60% as is the force feedback through the steering wheel. The reason we do that because otherwise it just gets a bit too much for people. We've also got on the traction control, the stability control, the ABS, they are all on. Nevertheless, I think we still managed to put across the difference between a game and a racing simulation. The car which we're racing in today is a 1981 BMW M1 Turbo. It's got about 800, 850 brake, weighs about 750, 800 kilos. Midship mounted rear wheel drive monster with no downforce whatsoever. It is a clown of a car. Together with the D-Box technology, we've also got NVIDIA triple screen 3D vision. 3D vision surround they call it, three screens in 3D. Um, powered by a scan PC, the 3XS Cyclone. It's got two supercharged GTX 580s, liquid cooled in SLI. Um, what else have we got here? Well, we've got a Bose sound system, we've got a Sparco seat, top of the range, Logitech steering wheel, force feedback, of course. The pedal set come from Germany, they're by a company called Fanatec. It's got a load cell, a load cell brake pedal, that means it's pressure sensitive. What's the frame made of? The frame is made out of aircraft grade stainless steel. Comes with a seven year warranty against braking. The motion equipment designed for cinema is designed to run 365 days a year, eight, nine, ten hours a day. Yeah, it's amazing equipment. Please come and enjoy the fun.
Obviously can't drive very well. Very much so. Right guys, the frame is made out of aircraft grade stainless steel and then we've got swathes of carbon fibre everywhere all round the base of the seat, all round the end of the actuators. The bottom, quite cleverly, is uh, just composite, but then it's wrapped with Dynock. Uh, so the bottom looks like carbon, but it's not. But there's stainless everywhere, there's aluminium everywhere. Just the top section where the wheel is, is amazing. Look at the engineering that's gone into that bit alone. Just somewhere for you to put a tiny little keypad. And it looks awesome. Uh, Sparco racing seat Bose audio it's all in 3D as you were showing before which is being powered by a scan 3XS system basically you've got two 580s in there an SLI which are water cooled you can see the be quiet cooler there and it's all in a white 600T If I take you in a little bit further, you can see that you've got RAID solid state drives in there as well. Really does look the part. And it's been quite the crowd drawer over the weekend. I'll take you back around quickly. An absolutely amazing bit of kit. 